guys welcome back to my channel and i'm back again with another really interesting video as you can see on my screen guys i have an android virtual device open in front of me so today's video is going to be a really special start of android kotlin fundamentals yes guys we have learned about kotlin basics and now is the time to apply them to actually create some very interesting android applications so today we are just going to see how we can get started with kotlin projects in android how we can just create a simple hello world project and this is going to be an introduction uh guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications and let's get started with today's video so guys uh, first of all if you want to create such applications the first thing which you have to do is you have to download the android studio so what i can do is i'll just go to google chrome and do android studio download and whatever uh, official site is there which is android.developers.com i think uh, whichever is the first site yeah so download android studio and sdk tools just go to this site guys and download the latest version or whatever version is compatible with your operating system and then you are done after downloading once you install android studio you are going to basically get an icon like this like i have this android studio icon if you click on that your android studio is going to get open uh it's not going to look like this uh initially initially you will just get a prompt and that prompt will have an option of new project so what you have to do is you have to select the new project and this will give you an option to start creating your own project okay now this is a very interesting part guys once you go into the new project window the first thing is a lot of template options which are given to you what are these templates so templates are basically guys uh, a sort of blueprint of how your application is going to look like okay so the first thing uh, whenever you are building an application the first thing that comes into your mind is what type of device this application is going to be used in is it going to be an application for phone and tablet is it going to be an application for watches tv or automotive right so once you select your device type then you go into the templates here you see guys that with like we have got like n number of templates with different look and feels and you can select any one of them for example if you want a application with the bottom navigation you can select the bottom navigation if you want a you know an empty application sort of empty page empty screen select empty activity if you want google maps select google maps right now very important thing to note here is why all these templates are having the uh, name as activity like basic activity empty activity why the name is having this activity associated with it so basically guys an activity basically means an action whenever you are creating an application the application is supposed to do some action right so that action is called as an activity now by default every every android application must have at least one activity right because at least one action it should uh, perform when you are opening an app at least it should do one thing it should show you some screen or do something but there should be at least one activity inside an android application right now obviously we know that uh, an android application can perform many actions it can perform many tasks but the first task which gets executed once we open the application is sort of your main activity or you can call as the entry point of your application okay it's like a main function in any other programs right so whatever activity you are going to select here you will get a by default kotlin class of main main activity which is just going to get executed once you open your application now we know that an activity is a task right obviously an activity is an action but every action in an application has a layout associated with it right for example if you want to even print hello world hello world is going to get printed on some screen right so obviously the screen has some layout so here you will see that with these different different templates you are actually selecting different different layouts for your activity 
okay so if you want your activity to have google maps you can select a google map layout if you want your activity to be empty you can select an empty activity so this is how it works an activity basically has two parts to it one thing is the logic of the action it is going to perform and one thing is the ui on which that action is going to get performed and you know provide a look and feel to the user okay so i hope the activity part is clear to you now let just click next and once you click next you will get another prompt and this prompt is to configure your project right now once you configure your project you need some sort of details first of all you need your application name so for example i can name my application as super lazy coder here so this name of your application is going to be the name which is going to be associated with your icon so once you see uh, applications on your on your uh, phone that application is going to have this name super lazy coder right second is the package name now the package name is basically your domain name and your application name okay so for example if you want to publish your application right if you are planning to publish your application then either you accept the default android.example.com for company domain or you create your own unique company domain and basically your company domain name becomes your package name okay if you are if you do want to publish your app you can give the package name as default okay you can change the package name of your application later also doesn't really uh, matter but it's a bit of an extra work so keep into mind these things when you are creating your application so you don't really have to change your package name uh, next is the save location guys wherever you want to save your project just Uh, put the location there select on this folder and you will see a uh, you know selector of file path here uh, second thing is the language obviously we are going to select kotlin here next is the minimum sdk okay so guys the minimum sdk which we are going to select here is should be i mean to say it should be at least 4.4 kitcat okay because uh, kitcat actually works on approximately 99.4% of the devices and it is also compatible with kotlin so you will see that it is kind of the right choice if you want to start with uh, uh, start with writing kotlin based android projects uh, but otherwise you can you know select marshmallow also you can select a higher version easily but you will see that if you select a higher version of android the number of devices it can run on is going to get decrease right because you can see that marshmallow only runs on 94% of the devices but kitcat actually runs on a higher number of devices okay but it totally depends upon you uh if you want to target a larger audience or your audience is a small audience but you know that those phones are going to have some heavier features okay once you are done with all these uh, heavy decisions just click on finish and once you click on finish you will see that okay this is my super lazy code project you will see that the gradle build is going to get start now uh, there is a possibility that this build is going to fail on my system yes you can see that it failed uh, because my internet is having some issues so because of that the gradle build is not able to download all the options and also i have another android project running side by side so i am not going to disconnect this uh, but what is going to happen guys uh, for me this build didn't work because i have two android projects running uh, separately and my internet is not powerful enough to actually support both of them but for you guys once you select on new application your application of gradle application is going to get built and once it get built it is actually going to look something like this so this was an application which i created before i started with this video so this application is going to look uh, so this is how this application looks when i just built it and i just created it selected finish and then the gradle build started and it looks like this okay so uh, that was all about how you can create the hello world project guys I'll show you in the next video how you can actually play with the Android Studio here. 
how you can deploy your app on a virtual device like this like this was a virtual device how you can deploy your apps on a physical device all of that we are going to cover in the next session uh, in upcoming sessions but this was a very short introduction of how you can create a hello world project in kotlin okay so believe it or not once you have selected your empty activity your hello world project is created and uh, if you just deploy it it's gonna work okay so uh, that was a video guys that was just uh, getting started of kotlin and uh, thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video then please do hit the like button share it with your friends as well write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications i'll see you guys in the next video until then bye bye